Hey y'all, it's entry number two of this off-season series where we discuss a different player's fantasy value each day as a group. We are another day closer to the start of the 2022 NFL season. In each of these entries, I cover one player to go through some of their positives, some of their negatives, and provide my personal opinion on their 2022 fantasy value at the end. Let's get going and dive into today's entry on Stephon Diggs, wide receiver, Buffalo Bills. The positives with Stephon Diggs. To start, we'll talk about how he's a target hog and a major red zone threat. Stephon Diggs was the fifth most targeted wide receiver in 2021, seeing 164 targets. He's seen at least 149 targets in three of his last four NFL seasons, and looking at the Bills' depth chart, he should once again be the top pass catcher in Buffalo. In addition, Diggs was one of the most utilized wide receivers in the red zone during the 2021 NFL season, finishing with 33 red zone targets, second in the entire NFL according to NFL Savant. Clearly, not many wide receivers get this kind of workload, which makes Diggs a safer bet in fantasy leagues for the 2022 NFL season. Elite Quarterback Stephon Diggs has one of the best quarterbacks in the league throwing him the ball in Josh Allen. During the 2020 season, Josh Allen had 396 completions on 572 passing attempts for 4,544 passing yards and 37 passing touchdowns. In 2021, his production fell off a little bit, but Allen still had 409 completions on 646 passing attempts for 4,407 passing yards and 36 passing touchdowns. By having a quality quarterback who will keep the offense rolling, Diggs will have a higher floor and ceiling than some other wide receivers who lack a decent quarterback. Potential Positive Regression According to Pro Football Reference, in 2021, Stefan Diggs had the second lowest catch rate of his career at 62.8%. Considering his career average catch rate is 68.9%, there's a good chance that Diggs bounces back a bit in this area for the 2022 NFL season. In addition, Diggs had the second most unrealized air yards in the NFL with 923, according to Player Profiler. Clearly, Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs left a little meat on the bone in 2021, and if they can get back around to their previous levels of efficiency, we could see another top three fantasy wide receiver season from Stephon Diggs. Moving on to the concerns with Stephon Diggs. To start, the Buffalo Bills will have a new offensive coordinator in 2022. Ken Dorsey will be the Bills' new offensive coordinator in 2022 after their previous offensive coordinator left to become the New York Giants head coach. While it's expected that Dorsey largely keeps the same offense in place since he was promoted from the quarterback's coach position to the offensive coordinator position, there's always some uncertainty when there's a play calling change. And considering Dabble fed the Bills wide receiver room at an insane rate the last two years when he was calling the plays, in terms of usage, it seems like there's nowhere to go but down for the team's wide receiver room as a whole, with Dorsey calling the plays. Next up for concerns with Stephon Diggs was the lack of monster fantasy days in 2021. During the 2021 season, Diggs did not have many monster fantasy days where he would put the team on his back dough, a la Greg Jennings, with only two games all season where he had more than 90 receiving yards. Lastly for Stefan Diggs, we have his 2021 yards after the catch. According to Rotowire, Stefan Diggs averaged just 3.3 yards after the catch, which was below average relative to other NFL wide receivers. According to Pro Football Reference, Diggs ranked 53rd among all NFL players in yards after the catch during 2021, only having 326 yards after the catch the entire season. For reference, many of the other top wide receivers in 2021 ranked in the top 10 of this category. Cooper Cup ranked first with 846 yards after the catch. 
Debo Samuel ranks second with 768 yards after the catch. Jamar Chase ranked third with 651 yards after the catch. And Devontae Adams ranked fifth with 592 yards after the catch. In fact, Diggs was just one of six receivers to have a, over a thousand receiving yards that didn't crack the top 50 in this category. The others were Terry McLaurin, Kyle Pitts, T. Higgins, Tyler Lockett, and Mike Evans. Some additional info on Stephon Diggs. In 2021, Stephon Diggs finished as the WR8 in standard with 182.5 fantasy points, was WR7 in .5 PPR formats with 234 fantasy points, and was WR7 in PPR formats with 285.5 fantasy points. In 2020, Stefan Diggs was the WR3 in standard, WR3 in .5 PPR, and WR3 in PPR leagues. In his NFL career, Stefan Diggs has played in 103 of a possible 113 career regular season games. While Diggs has yet to have a major injury over the course of his career, it is important to note that he has had a lot of minor injuries that usually cause him to miss a game or two each year. His injury history includes hamstring strains, groin strains, a knee strain, a hip strain, a rib contusion, an oblique strain, and a knee injury. Personal opinion. It's early in draft season, but I currently have Stefan Diggs as WR5 on my draft board for redraft fantasy leagues in 2022. Even though Diggs had some statistical regression last year from his impressive 2020 season, he still ended up being a top 10 fantasy wide receiver. This time around, Diggs could actually be due for some positive regression since a few of his efficiency averages in 2021 were lower than his career averages. You can't really call him a draft steal or anything since he's going off the board as WR6 on ESPN and WR6 on Yahoo, but he's a strong value and a solid player to target in the first couple of rounds of your fantasy draft. I will probably have quite a few shares of Stefan Diggs this year, especially in PPR leagues where his high reception totals are more heavily weighted. For each entry of this series, there will be a link to a charitable cause or foundation that a, the player supports. After the tragic shooting in Buffalo, Stefan Diggs, Josh Allen, and some of the other members of the Bills organization joined the local people in distributing groceries and meals while advocating to choose love. One organization that people have been donating to following this event in Buffalo is the Buffalo Together Community Response Fund a nonprofit with the mission of connecting people, ideas, and resources to improve life in Western New York. So for this entry, we'll include a link to that nonprofit. And that's it for this entry. If you have a player that you'd like to see covered in this video format of the A Player A Day series, drop a comment below.